Hello everyone, welcome to the devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. Let's begin in prayer. Heavenly Father, I come before your holy presence and I thank you and I praise you for this glorious Sabbath that you have given us. Thank you, Father God, that we have arrived to the day where we can rest physically, emotionally, spiritually, in every way, Lord, you have commanded us to rest. And I thank you and I praise you for the love that you have for us, that you gave us this commandment for our well-being, for our spiritual well-being. Father, I thank you and I praise you for all of the services going on throughout the world. Thank you for all of the people who have worked together behind the scenes to make our services possible, from the worship team to audio and visual, to the people who have been cleaning the churches and temples, Lord, to make it ready for the congregation to arrive and to worship. Thank you for those who are directing. Thank you for those who are participating with scripture readings, poems, songs, special hymns, the worship, the preaching, Father God, I ask that your Holy Spirit will be so evident in our services that we cannot deny his presence, that we can leave the church in awe of your majesty, in awe of the wondrous works that you do. Father, I ask that you will bring those to church who are hurting, who are in need, so that we can be the hands and feet of your son, Jesus Christ. Help us, Father God, to accept everybody who walks through that door with so much love, so much grace, and so much kindness. Help us, Father God, to help them feel so welcome and delighted that they are there. Father, open up our eyes and our ears for what you have in store for us today. May we never take for granted the work on the cross that your son did for us so many years ago. Father, we glorify you, we worship you, we adore you, and Father, as we spend a few moments reflecting and meditating on your word, I ask you that you will send your Holy Spirit to guide and to direct us, to teach us your ways. In Jesus' name, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Today's devotional is titled, Through the Eyes of Love. It was written by Judith Stone, translated by Nelson Berries, and brought to you by your sister, Lisa Hernandez. Our biblical base comes from Colossians 3, 12 through 14, so says the word of God. Therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, put on tender mercies, kindness, humility, meekness, long-suffering, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If anyone has a complaint against another, even as Christ forgave you, you also must do. But above all these things, put on love, which is the bond of perfection. Amen. May we be blessed by the reading of the scripture. They say that love is blind because when we fall in love, we do not see the faults or defects in the loved one. And if we notice any defect, we are sure that with the strength of our love, we can change it. But when we open our eyes and begin to see reality, that is when we truly need to look through the eyes of love. And this should be applied to everything in life. When we look around us with love, we can overcome difficulties, no matter how great they may seem or be. When we look with love, we can understand that our brother's weaknesses is, although different from ours, ultimately similar. 
because we are as far from perfection as he is. When we look through the eyes of love, we see how fragile humans are and how instead of fighting each other, we must unite since we truly pursue the same goal and a united victory will be easier. When we look through the eyes of love, we see that although the work is not finished, the Lord is working with our brother with as much patience as he works with us. When we look at everything through the eyes of love, fights will end. False testimonies will disappear. Forgiveness will abound. Smiles will emerge and we will embrace each other in a holy embrace. There will be more hands extended to help the needy. And then at last, we will grasp the very essence of the most perfect love, which we call God. Amen. My brothers and sisters, as we embark to gather together to worship God today in the services, in Sabbath school, in our different classes, in our different Bible studies, May we look at our brothers and sisters through the eyes of love. Maybe somebody is going to walk through the doors of the church who you haven't seen in a very long while. Let's extend that arm of love to them. May we not see their faults, but may we glorify God that he brought them to fellowship with us once again. When we see somebody who has been straying from the faith, maybe not doing what they're supposed to be doing or what you see that they are supposed to be doing. May we look with them with the eyes of love. Look at them through the eyes of Jesus with compassion and mercy, with grace, with kindness, with love. May we glorify God because they are there. May we glorify God because we see them once again and they're making an effort, even though they may be hanging on by a sheer thread, they're still there. My brothers and sisters, let us look at each other through the eyes of love, because through the eyes of love is through the eyes of Christ. Amen. May the Lord receive the honor and the glory. And my brothers and sisters, once again, we invite you to check out the YouTube channel, SEC English Ministry, for our daily Bible reading as we continue this journey through the Bible together. And now we ask that the blessed love of God, the grace and peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the companion and communion of the Holy Spirit, our great counselor, be with all of his children now and forever. Amen.